Hi, it's Ileana. So today I'm going to be discussing my memories of how I first began to do the star traveling experiences and the shamanic journeys. So I had learned to do shaman journeying through drumming. My first experiences were doing was doing the drum circles, actually being taught how to do the four corners of drumming. I have a beautiful drum that sounds like it's deer skin, but this is a it's not a hide because I don't I don't believe in using hide drums. So this is a synthetic drum. So no matter what environment I'm in, it's always going to sound good. It's never going to deflate based on whether it's humid in the environment, whether it's cool. This drum stays taut always because it is synthetic, but the sound mimics deer hide. So the sound is very deep and it's beautiful. I like how it guides me on these shamanic journeys. For me, it feels very soothing. And the first shamanic journey I ever went on was seeing the Pablo cities um, and the caves and just seeing a beautiful eagle soar over the skies. And it just sounded so beautiful. And I got such soul wisdom. I got to wander the land where the Pablo used to live. And I got to see the mountains, got to see the eagle soar. And I got to see how they built their structures. So it was they, the structures, the Pablo cities would go up into the mountains slightly. And so I felt so invigorated. Just, just being able to see that and experience the shamanic journey with the soaring eagle, to see through his eyes these beautiful Pueblo homes from the past when they still were standing and made and, and just standing against the, against the mountainside. It was amazing. And then I went on, on another shamanic journey in Cambodia, and I, I met a wise woman in Cambodia. I flew on an owl, and I talked to this beautiful spiritual woman. She was almost like a hundred, but she had so much wisdom, and she told me, seek your answers within. Your soul healing is within yourself. You're on the right journey, so seek inner healing and wisdom from within. So that's what I've been doing. And this is about 10 years ago. So every shamanic journey that I've gone on through the drumming circles, it usually takes me on a different journey. And I sometimes see wise people. I see totem animals. I see spirit guides. Um, you can set an intent when you're doing a shamanic journey where you would like to go or your soul and spirit will take you where you're meant to go and what you're meant to see. So, and shamanic journeying is a little bit different for me than the astral travel, because when I'm doing a shamanic journey, I'm actually drumming. Um, I, I, when I begin to drum, it's to the four corners of the elements. And I do a bit of a drumming ceremony to, to get me into that journeying state, into the shamanic journeying state. And so it is really a journey. It's a journey process that I go on. And again, it feels very peaceful, very soothing. And when I've done, ast when I've done astral travel, I've usually traveled to other planets, but on the shamanic journeys, it was on earth. I felt very grounded to the earth, very peaceful, very reconnected to the earth. It was very healing. And that's what I needed. I needed healing. So that's why I started with the shamanic roots. 
because in my previous past lifetimes, I've been a Native American shaman woman, a wise woman, and then I was a Siberian shaman. So going back to my roots was so important to me. And going back to magic, because in past lifetimes, I remember being a Wiccan practitioner, a white light Wiccan practitioner. So to me, it felt so natural to study magic again and shamanism, because it's literally reconnecting my soul and, and putting soul fragments back together. Because I just felt like pieces of my soul were missing. They were really missing before. And that's why I learned the shamanism and the magic. Because again, I wanted to reconnect with my past roots of shamanism and magic. And I really wanted to bring together the soul fragments as a whole and to heal physically and emotionally. And that's what I've done. I've been able to achieve that and feel much better physically and emotionally. To me, this has been a beautiful journey and still a continuing journey. Um, and magic helps me to manifest, manifest my reality, to bring beautiful things from above to below, as above, so below, to work with the energies. Magic is about energy. It's about colors. It's about frequencies. You can work with candle magic. You can work with words of power manifestation. You can combine them to, together to make energetic spells, to manifest things in your reality. It, it's such an amazing process. And I'm getting to re-experience that again because I'm writing a book about magic, shamanism, Akashic records, channeling, um, remote viewing. So shadow work it's really and about the ascension process because ascension is real ascension is about going to a higher density energetically a higher dimensional frequency it's not just leaving your body and leaving your earth your and leaving the earth and just going to 5d it's much deeper than that it's actually going with your soul to that higher frequency, to that higher dimension. Your soul travels there. So that myth that we're all just going to leave and ascend and just leave the earth all at once, that is, I don't think that's how ascension truly happens, at least not my understanding of it. Ascension is an energetic process of of soul upliftment to, to a higher density, to a higher dimension, to a higher frequency of soul evolution. And you connect better with universal knowledge when you do that. So that's what ascension to me is, where your energetics is uplifted and you're evolving as a soul being. That's ascension. And it's not something that happens just when you die. Our soul, we have our unique journeys, each having their own ascension path. So it's not um, a false thing that's taught. Ascension is real. It's existed since the beginning of time. Ascension has been around for a long time, since creation began. So that's what I talk about in the book. And I also talk about what is magic, um, how to work with magic, all the lunar cycles, the herbs, the crystals, the energy frequencies, sacred geometry. I include that because sacred geometry is a huge part of magic. Uh, I talk about the candle magic and i talk about spells how to create and craft spells they're an important part of ma my manifestation the words of power that i create to manifest realities that i create as above so below so this is kind of something i'm working on and i've been writing about tarot i've been writing about the mystical aspects of tarot 
And how tarot doesn't just allow us to see the future, tarot also works to help our soul see what's going on with our lives right now. Because I do work with tarot privately for myself, and I do a lot of tarot readings in private. So for me, writing about the mystical aspects of that is really helping, really helping me to reconnect with, with those healing frequencies. Because tarot allows me to see something deeper in my soul. It's, it's another energetic tool to work with. It's part of magic. Everything is magic, in magic, with magic, is interconnected. It really is a balance of frequencies and energies. And shamanism is part of magic, and magic is part of shamanism. I was learning both at the same time. Just as I was learning Reiki energy healing and crystals, it, it's all part of the circle of life. Feeling alive, feeling vibrant and energetic. So it's wonderful to be able to put this all together in a book that talks about all of these subjects and, and, and be able to talk about things that are really helping me and have helped me on my healing path. Just like the space stuff has been important to me to, to write books about my experiences with the secret space program things. But it's also important to me to include information about shamanism, about magic, because those are part of my healing journeys. And I really want to share that. So um, I'm just so thankful to be able to re-explore those topics and write about them. So I just wanted to sort of mention the journey, the shamanic journey, because it's amazing with the drumming and just learning the drumming. It's very healing and soothing for the soul. Music is healing for the soul. And it's a frequency. And every time the frequency is a little bit different with the drumming, it's very interesting. And it takes you on this beautiful energetic vibration when you're doing the shamanic drumming, the soul journeys. And it's called shamanic journey or shamanic journeys. So I'm so very thankful that I got to learn that through doing the Native American shamanism um, with my teacher who, whose name was Leonard Howell. He's since passed on, but he left a great legacy. Amazing. So I just sort of wanted to talk a little bit about that. So thank you so much and namaste.